All right, so I have shown my previous Raptor video to a fellow Astro enthusiast, Ecstatics, who, as the true Raptor Chad that he is, basically pasted an entire essay on his thoughts and own takes on Astro, which I have to admit made me look like a fool in some parts of the ideas I made, and you will just see in a moment. So his first part of his response, this is what he said. Alright, so I agree on mostly everything you mentioned in the video with two exceptions. I feel personally that the eyebrow ability and the pounce thing should be separate. The water sink through mechanic just makes sense to be tied to Q as all other senses are like Dino's water sense and Trudon's venom highlight. This would also take away the issue of someone only wanting to see through the water and being forced to use a jump at the end of it. This would also take away the issue of someone only wanting to see through the water and being forced to use use a jump at the end of it as you would then have to with your idea of having the two abilities on one keybind. Secondly, I think the pounce itself should work in the matter you've discussed being only used for pinning small animals and fish, but the method of use should be different. A few ostrichs should have it as a hold to charge thing on the right mouse button, and as it's charging you get a reticle similar to Herrera. On where you can jump to, so it's much less about guessing your trajectory, and would help it secure pounces on fish in the small game more reliably while rewarding the player's aim. These ideas are just perfect in my opinion. I was so distracted by what was shown in the concept art and just kind of like forcing the two abilities together without really putting too much thought into it and not really using common sense with this thing through water mechanic just simply being tied to the sniff button or the Q keybind by default. Like, we even have an animation example with when BP sniffs its little feather eyebrows also stick out a little bit more and vibrate, just as shown in the concept art too with Ostraraptor. The background footage here will be what Ecstatics meant with the Herrera example that he mentioned in this response of how Ostra leaping could work, which with that makes the leap more dynamic. It just works so much better than what I initially made up, and it kind of works well with Ostro having the downside of not being able to latch onto bigger animals, which is counteracting with the pounce slash leap being way better in aim and farther, depending on what range they put onto it, but I feel like it's gonna be more long range than the typical pouncers we have at the moment, making it more easier yet engaging when fishing and helping it being a good small game hunter as opposed to its counterparts who mostly focus on killing bigger animals rather than smaller ones. So this is his additional response. Also for speed, it would make sense for it being to be 45 to 48 kilometers per hour range, and it having a high jump high in agility, which would make sense. I also think it should have a swim speed slightly faster than Serato, with the ability to dive under as seen in the concept, and the kick being a disjointed hitbox as an alt attack similar to Gali would make sense, although I feel Astro should churn with the kick if looking somewhere but forwards as opposed to Gali's no looker type thing. Side note, I feel that on top of bleed, if fractures do get different degrees of severity, Astro's kick should do some minor fracture damage as well since it's an attack that would only be used when standing still. I would imagine the kick to do 175 damage and it's base by being 40 to 50. I love and fully agree on the additional comments for Astro's speed on land and water that Aesthetics added. The kick for Astro should be more of it swinging towards, like swinging its legs, which has the action of its slashing with its claws rather being similar to Galley, which kind of st sits still and just kicks in certain directions without really looking at it, just like Statics mentioned. But I would say the fracture part he kind of mentioned is a bit much since Astro is pretty light and even Galley and Tenno's kicks don't do low amount of fracture. And the very good bleed for Astro I think should work better than small fracture for Astro anyway since it is a Dromiosaur, which in this game are very bleed oriented rather than damage or fractures. In Astro's case, I think the bleed would be more of like deterring predators away from it or from chasing it until it gets to a safe spot or 
leaps into water. And 50 bite damage works pretty well, I think. And the kick is a bit much, in my opinion, in damage wise. I feel like more 125 damage. And now this is his last part of the response. Bleed value is something I can't work out, but should be high for the kick and substantial for the bite. Usher carrying its young on its back is something I'm looking forward to. It may also come in handy carrying things that its babies too, like a piece of food or nesting materials, because I believe it would be a, a stick nester. Maybe give it a perk that makes its babies grow faster when carried too. But all in all, Ostro should be a light and agile small game hunter, which is mostly trash or nomadic, but sticks near water sources for easy easy source of escape and food. I think you nailed the basic idea of it that I had in my head in your video, so good job. Like I already mentioned, the bleed from Asho should be good, you know, as a Dromiosaur, and better with the kick mostly due to its sick claws and the auto attack being a stationary attack. And for me, I don't really like the idea of Asho Raptor putting things on its back other than its babies, because for me it seems kind of goofy for Asho Raptor to just have like a bleeding piece of meat on its back making it dirty that's why it has a mouth which i would mention the debris or stick nest for astro seems pretty logical and the mutation idea is also pretty interesting that would be cool i love the summarizing sentence of what the core component of what and how astro should play kind of disappointed that i didn't use this at the end of my previous videos just kind of summing up what my general idea for each dinosaur is gonna try to do that in my future videos and i want to say to ecstatics i'm glad that we had a similar view on astro on what and how astro should be played hope the devs have same ideas for our favorite water raptor